Hi, and welcome back to AJM Learn. So in the previous video in this post, I've shown you how to set up your promotional pop-up. So make sure you've already done that. Check out the video if you don't know how. Um, so on the back end of your site, you're gonna need a couple tabs open for this. It's a little bit tedious, which is why it's taking me a while to do this one. So go to marketing, go to your promotional pop-up, make sure it's toggled on and you've already done all the styling that you want internally. In another tab, you're going to need your custom CSS open. Um, basically, there's just no way to preview that your CSS is working or what it looks like without being in this tab. Um, you could try it in like an incognito window or something, but I just thought this was kind of the easiest. So let's go ahead and start moving stuff over. So I have the post open here. So first, removing the disclaimer text. So um, I just... Even if you don't include disclaimer text, it still has this big space here. So I like to just go ahead and get rid of that. So I'll show you that in action. Um, I won't do this full reload every time. It's going to take forever. Um, it's a little tedious, but you can see it got rid of that space. So coming back here, remove the X. So I don't like the way this box sits around the X. It like, drives me crazy. You can click outside of the pop-up to make it go away. That's a pretty standard way of getting out of a pop-up. So if you wanted to get rid of the X, as I do sometimes, you can use that. So I'll, I'll refresh here in a second, but let's do a couple more. Um, this one's one I've I worked on for a while, and I really want to figure out how to round the corners of my pop-up. And I'll go ahead and refresh after this one. So you'll see that the X is now going to be gone. And then also the bottom corners, so no X, and the bottom corners are rounded. Um, I played around with this for a while and could not get the top corners. Um, I'm still going to try, but I kind of like this look, honestly. So I thought, let's go ahead and give you guys the option. Um, feel free to shoot us an email if you find out how to do this top portion. The CSS, like the uh, selectors for this are pretty tricky. Um, so, yeah. Bottom corner is rounded for now, which I think actually is a really cool look, but I will certainly update when I find the top corners. Um, last couple, um, I have this repeated in here. Um, that's, oh, the title's wrong, I will fix it. So I was like, what's happening? So in the post, this one is actually gradient backdrop. So, on your pop-up, you know, you, you can within the actual styling set what this background color is, but it of course needs to be a solid color. So I thought it'd be fun to have the option um, to, I got these mixed up. I'm sorry. This is obviously going to be fixed in the post. I thought it'd be nice to have the option to make a gradient backdrop if that fits your branding. So I have that set up here and then as well as adding a drop shadow to the button. So let's go ahead and refresh. Make sure you click save in your CSS or nothing's gonna happen. And then now you'll see um, there is both a drop shadow here on the button. You can of course change the color and how you want that to look and this gradient background overlay. Um, so yeah, we got rid of this kind of privacy statement, um, disclaimer text spacing and the text. We got rid of the X, added this gradient backdrop, added this drop shadow, rounded our bottom corners. Um, to me, this looks way more branded and way more purposeful. So um, I thought this was pretty fun. As I mentioned in the post, this is certainly a work in progress. Finding the CSS for this has been um, fun and challenging. So I'll be sure to update as I find more and hope you enjoy.